my fellow beat makers today I'm gonna show you how to make a beat yay first uh, click on create a new song and it can be on empty song and press OK now the essential part to making a beat first and foremost you have to click on instruments after you click on instruments you should have something that looks like this impact mojito presence and sample one I'm going to show you guys how to use all three today even though they're they're, they're pretty much the same I'm not going to show you guys how to use sample one because I don't recommend anyone use it because to me it's not that good of a program but I have enough requests and I will show people how to use sample one it's just pretty much it's, it pretty much explains itself it's just sampling music uh, but like I said it's not very good for sampling songs okay first and foremost is impact this is going to be your bass and your snares Majoto is like a electric piano and presence is sound fonts and if you don't know what a sound font is I explained in my other video and I also give you links on where to download good sound fonts this presence is probably the most important thing you'll have in studio one and if you want to f figure out more about presence then click on my other video it should be in the description but let's go ahead and do it the basics and cover the impact yeah impact looks like this all you have to simply do is drag impact to the I guess to the session the studio session double click it and drag it now um, to get to the input screen you simply click on this and boom you're at the I guess MIDI screen where you can input your sounds now you're probably wondering how do you write a sound how do you record a sound well this is so important click on the paint tool and click on your session and drag this now once you drag it to the end or drag it however you want to drag it you click back on the pointer and double click it and boom you're given a piano roll kind of uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to input some sounds uh, first of all we need some sounds now you see this little arrow right here if you click down it's gonna give you some default sounds and this is what the default sounds look like okay we're just gonna drag this um, <clears throat> We're going to drag it over, okay? Now, first of all, let me explain to the people because if you're anything like me, you need everything explained so you're not lost. I just drug, okay, let me let me let me do this in slow motion. Skills. Okay, I just drug, see, I, I double click this, you know, and I drug this below this track. Boom. Skills. Anyways, um what I just did is it um, it's pretty much a preset of sounds but if you're really serious about making beats you're not going to use these presets each of them have a different sound you know like I said if you really are serious about making beats you're gonna want to pick your own sound so let me show you guys how to pick your own sound let's go ahead and remove track boom now Click, double click on this. Uh, well, I'm losing my mind here. Okay, if you're looking for the sounds, you simply go to sounds, and you should have your screen should look something like this. Vengeance sound. It comes with Studio One. So simply click Vengeance sound, and your screen is going to look like this. These are just more right here. Just more you know loops. These are more presets, but what you want are these the demo packs the demo packs is, is your opportunity to pick what sounds you want okay so let's click on the first demo pack ah look at all the choices we have we have the bass shots bass drums hi-hats claps and snares cymbals and dirty dutch special <laughs> now um anyways if you're wanting to you can pick what sound you want uh so if let's say that you want to see what the sound sounds like before you input it to the MIDI screen or whatever 
you simply click on it and it gives you an example of what each sound is going to sound like pretty cool right so now that we know what each sound is going to sound like you pick which one you like and if you like it ha huh, I got something for you you click on this again this brings back up the little MIDI keypad and you simply just drag it to one of the keypads we're gonna pick this one skills anyways um yeah so now that it's there you click it and you hear the same sound oh how ironic is that so what you do is you pretty much just click on the sound that you want to add to your song and once you have enough sounds it's time to get down and dirty now a lot of people they want to dislike use their keyboard or maybe just use their mouse to record and this is the crappy part about Studio One to record these sounds you have to like I said first of all get that little paint tool draw one of these and then double click it wow yeah uh, you have to you have to locate where each sound is at right here we have the bass drum you can click on it and you'll hear the sound and you can just click it oh there goes your first beat skills anyways if you want to record like if you want to just like record this instead of just inputting each one of the beats which really isn't that bad because they have a copy and paste method where you can just copy and you can put the cursor where you want to paste it at and it'll paste the beats but I mean if, if you know how to make beats you're probably familiar with this so this shouldn't be something new to you yeah so they have a decent copy and paste method um, but if you want to just record it simply press record and I know you want to use that little cool keyboard look little cool MIDI looking thing it looks awesome but unfortunately studio one you have to skills yeah anyways you have to just click on the sound that you want and it records it now let's check out that beat I just made I uh, just lay down a sick one. Here we go. Let me speed it up a little bit. Oh, turn up to that. Turn up. Uh oh. Drop it. Oh, oh. Skills. Anyways, um, yeah. So that is it, y'all. Um. For the impact, it's pretty simple. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, it's all about just dragging and copying and pasting. You're gonna find it a lot easier just to literally input the sound that you want instead of trying to record it like I just did because you can actually keep it on beat. Um, yeah, so that tells you about impact and pretty much Majoto and presence are the same thing uh, but if you're anything like me you need a full tutorial so I'll show you how to do Majoto as well drag it and this is gonna pop up on your screen now Majoto is pretty cool cuz it's like I said it's like a metal piano and uh, you can draw this again Wow, I made it way too far out Boom. Okay, let's let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, for Majoto, it's the same thing. You click on the paint tool, whatever, and you draw. You click back on the pointer, double tap. This is the closest thing you're gonna find to a piano in Studio One. So, like I said, y'all, the most important thing you're gonna have is presence because with sound fonts, you can manipulate any sound and 
it's just awesome. Like, um, there are different types of sound fonts. You can get them from different websites. Uh, like, I'm gonna show you an example. This is a normal p electric piano. I'm just gonna drag it and click on the keys. So, um, let me show you guys a piano roll. Uh, well, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make a. If you if you're interested about learning more about presents and where you can get different sound fonts, um, then click on the everything. All the information is gonna be on the link below. And uh, this is Contro over and out.